What's going on, you guys? So I wanted to do a video on uh, Burden of Command. I've missed so many freaking uh, updates from them. I, You know, like a lot of times when you're ready to record, you're like, what am I doing? Uh, what should I do a video on now? And, you know, <sighs> what's going on, you guys? So I wanted to do a video on Burden of Command. It's been a while since I did well, any kind of updates on it. And this is one of the games that I'm really hoping comes out in 2023. Um, this is not only like a great game, but it's going to be a very innovative game. It's combining strategy with RPG. So it's kind of doing like a fusion. Um, it's just going to be incredible. Uh, the stuff that I've seen already basically makes this game just an instant hit the moment it comes out. Like they literally can just throw this out right now and be an instant hit. Uh, but they keep building on, and the um, uh, main developer, Luke, uh, this guy has so much passion for this game. Um, it's going to be like a work of art when it comes out, I believe. Uh, but I wanted to take a look at his microblogs. He comes out with a bunch of these, uh, uh, I would say, every couple weeks, and uh, they're really good. Oh, wow, okay. I want to read this. You regain your balance just in time to hear a shout of alarm from behind your back. You might have weathered the near miss, but the inflatable raft, the near of your company with all your heavy weapons and equipment has been less than fortunate. Men splash desperately toward the sinking dinghy as it settles deeper into the water. Only a few will uh, reach the boat, not enough to save all of its precious cargo. Interesting. Save the radio, grab the bazookas. Yeah! Or the motors. I'd probably do motors. Across the river and into the unfriendly hills. Hold on, let me make sure that the, uh, yeah, it's at 1080p. Lieutenant Rogers, Women's Army Corps, she replies, Crystal, I'm an administrator for the 5th Army Medical Establishment here in Naples. You can help me by letting me help you keep your alpha in one piece. Nice. Oh! So, if you haven't seen this before, this game, you are the company commander, right? You have to take care of your boys. Uh, if you don't, if you just throw them into, like, uh, like a firefight or whatever, and just be like, yeah, you guys are going to charge across this field, and yeah, about half of you are going to die. Uh, your troops will lose confidence in you. Like, there's certain aspects of this game that are just, like, amazing. Um, and obviously, you don't want to lose your boys because they have to, they develop skill and experience and all that stuff, so... Really cool. Best way to get answers is to aggregate them separately. Compare notes. That way you can figure out if that whole one company thing is true. Not that Hans seems all that willing to talk. Try to get answers out of, out of the older one. Interesting. I would probably do the younger one. Um, and what I find really interesting is the amount of uh, branches of this game. Like... So this is going to become regular with all these questions, not questions, but like you having to choose, right? And then each one branches off to a, a couple of other ones. And then from those, those branch off. So you, just imagining the amount of branches this game can go down is, I, I mean, you would probably have to probably play a couple hundred thousand to get all the different variations of the game. Sees the town, he said, mud trenches snafu. <laughs> oh, nice. love the uh hold on one thing i love is like there are some models that are used twice or more than twice like these but you could see like they put in a lot of work to like differentiate to make it not just the same thing Cool. 
Wow, they colorized historical I imagery in this. Yeah, this, like I said, you know, um, Luke, I interviewed him a few times. This guy is incredible. Um, <sighs> every time I see microblogs of this and, and stuff like this, I just like mm, i'm just like dude when when is it coming um because i mean it was you saw in the trailer the music uh if you saw my previous uh reports on his uh game um the sound effects the audio that they're using in this game sounds so good um the amount of work that they're doing on the ai is just ridiculous there was one entire one where they did a lot of work on the AI to make it much more smarter, much more reactive, much more just intelligent. Um, honestly, guys, you know, this, you know, there are games out there that will not be like of Call of Duty, right? Um, so they'll come out in the same year of like a Call of Duty and a Battlefield and NBA 2K and all this, right? Uh, Hades is one of them, right? Uh, and these games have such a incredible gameplay mechanic and just, you could see the love and, and, and just sweat and tears poured into the game. Hades uh, won best game of the year, trumped all the games, and it was made by a very indie studio, just uh, I think about like a dozen or some people. This game, based upon what I'm seeing, could easily be game of the year. We're talking beating AAA games, everything, because the level of passion, the AI, the, the music, the sound effects, this game can really just be front page news. Um, so I'm going to leave it right there. I love this game. I can't wait till this game comes out. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I would wishlist this, guys, if you haven't done. All right, catch you guys in the next one. See you then.